Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, it's been raining uh, here today, so um, I was wondering if uh, some of the lightning and thunder might get in with the uh, the video, but uh, seems the raining seems to stop, so I'm going to try to catch up with some videos uh, this week. And I've been noticing some things in the tech world, and, and for the in this instance, uh, the topics on uh, uh, the Roku jailbreak, which can be uh, Roku uh, uh, Roku boxes, and it could be Roku TVs or something like that. Now, uh, this is, of course, for 2021. Uh, I think there's some older hacks. But this one kind of utilizes... Um, you got to have a, a Roku OS uh, 9.4. And uh, it also uh, utilizes the Realtek Wi-Fi chip to be able to uh, enable access. Now, if you update it to Roku 10, it kind of patches that uh, uh, exploit. So um, if you want to use this uh, hack, you need to make sure you don't update your Roku. And uh, there are some advantages and disadvantages which we're going to talk about. And I decided not to do it, which I, I'm going to tell you the reasons why a little bit later in my con section. We're going to talk about some of the pros. Um, it'll allow for something like a telnet, telnet access. You could uh, maybe um, have remote access to your television or uh, a set-top box. Um, secret menus and secret screens, uh, additional uh, information, um, maybe... Uh, I think you can also gain access to uh, developer, uh, like developer uh, screens or something like that. I think one of the biggest features is uh, to be able to uh, gain access to apps you currently don't have. For instance, the big one with me is the Spectrum app because I use uh, Spectrum cable and internet. And uh, Roku took the, uh, away the ability to uh, put the Spectrum app on the Roku TV or Roku devices. Now, if you already have Spectrum on there, there it's not going to remove it, which I do, luckily. Um, and that's a really big feature because it allows you to enable uh, Spectrum cable TV on any of your Wi-Fi devices uh, instead of having multiple cable boxes and having to pay for them and things like that. Um, so hopefully that would enable access for those um, apps. And another thing I also have been seeing is Roku's been having a dispute also with um, Google as far as I believe it's uh, YouTube TV. Um, so what, what uh, Google did was actually build the uh, uh, YouTube TV in their YouTube app anyway to get around it. And so there's a big dispute with that. Because um, Roku took away uh, YouTube TV um, app from their app store. Um, also, this does not affect the installed Roku, Roku firmware. So, for instance, you enable this hack. Um, if you do a system reset, um, it will simply remove the software or whatever that um, does the uh, Roku jailbreak. And so it won't affect ultimately affect your TV too much which is great because um, I, I get a little wary um, changing uh, built-in firmware. Uh, that can be a big issue. Now, some of the cons, the reasons why you may not want to do this, um, obviously, um, you're going from something trusted like Roku, which always works, to third-party developers. It can be a little quirky. For instance, my feed and search will stop functioning. Um, and even if you do the jailbreak and for some for some reason um it may uh roku system update may try to install roku os 10 then obviously you're going to lose that exploit anyway so it's going to stop um i'm trying to think right here system updates and channel updates so that's not going to work anymore the other thing is roku's been pretty good with security anyway and for instance, um, uh, sandboxing a lot of the applications to prevent system access or exploits through applications through Roku itself. Uh, another thing you got to think about too: Roku enables credit card information for things like if you have the uh, the Netflix app for monthly payments on your uh, Roku or uh, for your Netflix. Of course, it's a monthly fee, or uh, enable. 
to purchase movies or rental for movies through Amazon, which I use as well, Amazon Prime. So it has your credit card information, something you might want to think about maybe not doing. So you have to rate what really weigh the pros and cons with this. You really have to have um, some major cons and I think or major advantages. And, and one of these is probably, like I said, um, applications you don't have um, access to anymore for like Spectrum for me, because that's a big one <laughs> right there. Because um, you can enable any of your Roku TVs and not use a cable box. Or even, as long as you have Roku, uh, Spectrum Internet, you don't have to even have cable. And you can still get the Spectrum app and get all your Spectrum, uh, well not all of them, but you're going to get some major Spectrum cable shows through the, the uh, Spectrum app. So that's uh, another important one. So I figure I'd tell you about this, guys. This is really not for... Um, how to hack your Roku, but I just kind of wanted to tell you guys about it um, uh, using this exploit. So you have to weigh that if you want to do that. Also, I'll, I'm gonna probably do some more research and maybe put some channels that uh, utilize this uh, exploit for software. If you want want to jailbreak, maybe uh, some websites I might put in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.